You don't need anything, you lot, do you? I've just get hooves out in the kennels, and these all lot had hooves a couple of days ago, but they took them on outside, which they can still get to, obviously. So we've had a major move around this morning because this boy is causing me problems. So we've got Kai and Fliss in the end kennels now. So he's not got both sides to get aggravated at. If he carries on being a pain, then he's either going to have to be locked in the kennel most of the day and just let out when I come over, or I'm going to have to partition him off on his own and put some plastic or roofing or something down so he can't see the other dogs. He just gets fired up. He's not aggressive or anything. It's just He just gets overstimulated and um, fired up and reactive with the other dogs. There's a little fliss. So I've just given everybody hooves, which is... It's all right for those dogs in individual kennels. Are you okay? I know, but you had a hoof the other day, so you're not getting a new one. I know, we can't believe nobody's wanted you. And then we've got Super Yelena. She likes her hooves. And then in this kennel, which was um, now a three kennel, so this used to be Zayna, Fliss and Kai. Well, we've obviously moved Fliss down there so we could make this a three. Because I needed to still keep... So these kennels down this side are a little bit bigger than those kennels. You can see the weather wall juts out more. So I prefer to obviously have when there's communal dogs in the bigger kennels because that's obviously a bit more space. So we give these hooves, which is proving a bit of a pain because these girls like to hoard. Bellatrix, when I was putting them down, she was trying to put three in her mouth at the time. And because of a funny shape, a hoof shape, you can only, can only barely put one in. My boy, he's so perfect. Such a good dog. Alma. And we've got our three amigos. Phoenix, Bellatrix and Myrtle. And then as you can see, Heartbreakingly, I've just brought Poppers and um, Mr. Man over. I bought Keller over the other day. Um, hello, handsome. How's my boy? How's my boy? Are you excited? Are oh, you got a hoof? Quick before she's. Don't you steal his? No, we don't steal. You got eight in there. No, I think they put ten in, I think, for five dogs. I always put more in because you always get the ones that hoard them. Are you hoarding them too? Look at that face. Okay, so we've got them there. And then in here, like I say, we've got Keller, Mr. Man, and Poppers. I tell you, when I, Keller's been over for a few days, and um, when I brought Mr. Man and Poppers over, he was so excited. He was so excited. He was really depressed on his own, which they get, obviously, been in the house and having free run, and now they're confined to the kennel again. It breaks my heart, but I just need him out of the house. Um, and then we've reduced our two pity boys down to two kennels. The problem with this is I've got two dog waters that don't work. This one's hanging off the wall, you can see. Um, a dog ages ago chewed all the pipes, so that pipe needs replacing and then it needs sticking back on the wall. And the one in there's not got a float, so I need a replacement and float. There's another one down there that needs a float replacement. So I've got to make sure that when they're in double kennels, they've got a kennel that's got water. <coughs> Shut up, you. So you can see we've got some chunky pitties now. We've got to put you all on a diet, haven't we? you got wobbly bellies now. You've gone from having no bellies to wobbly bellies. And our beautiful Roska girl is over here having a break from the boys. Aren't you having a little break? <sighs> I 
And you'll notice very few kennels have got blankets anymore because they're dragging them out, dragging them through the pee and the poop and the water when I've cleaned. As you can see, I'm constantly cleaning. Yelena's very good with hers. Yes, you're very good with yours as well, aren't you, Zena? These two are good with the blankets, but they had a bit of a fit with the beds. I'm not sure it was. One of them destroyed both beds. So we've got a little bit more time on the video for you. So what do we think? What breed do we think she is? New. What do we think you are? You're like a little whippet, aren't you? Little whippet with a collie. New little munchkins, I know. Well, you've got some fluff in your mouth. Yeah, we don't need to actually be jumping up. Right, I'm going to go back over to the house, get some work done. Go back to my retirement home setting now, thankfully. And there's Wizard, look. There's the whiz boy who walks a little bit wonky with his deformed arm. Right, that's it. I'm going to walk out. We'll go and have a look outside. These spies have come out a bit better. These are the best kennels, I think. To get all the more light more. I know it's such poppers, I'm sorry. Yeah, right, handsome. So, still got all these to bring in and wash and figure out where the heck I'm going to put them. So, outside on a beautiful day, we've got our pity kennels. Our boys have been here since October. Our old mannies with my favourite boy in there. Look at him and him. Look at them too. Alma and Chip. You good boys, aren't you? Yes. You're my favourite. Yes, indeed. Black flies are starting to come out. And we've got Yelena. I can't believe you're here. I had, I would have put money on you would have been the first to be adopted. And then we've got Fliss and Kai. Just leave Kai in there while he's chewing on his hoof. The dandelions are coming up for the bees. So they've got a decent view though, the squirrels and the chipmunks come running along here to go to the feeders. Right, I'm going to go and get this uploaded, I've got loads to do admin wise so I'm going to get that done and hopefully there'll be no bickering over here, we shall see.